Shalom Israel. We're more saying Christ blessed. Now tuned in to the Raven and Wolves radio show. Shalom Israel. You are now tuned in to the Raven and Wolves radio show. Boom. Shalom, Shalom, Israel, Mosai and Christ. Bless. You all have tuned into another week of the Raven and Wolves yes, radio yes. show. Oh! <laughs> Bear Wolves in the building. Yeah, man. Bear Wolves in the building, you know? Except for Sibir. Bear Wolves. <laughs> now, Sibir, we turn it. He a, he a, he a hybrid. He, he a hybrid, you know what I mean? <laughs> Simeon is a hybrid. You see all you see how he got hair all on his neck all over there. <laughs> That's a hybrid. <laughs> you know what I mean? But hey, Shalom Israel. You tune into another week of the Raven and Wolves. You know, um you know, this week was you know, it was a crazy week this week, man. I know a lot of you brothers, you all was going through your trials, your tribulations. I know a lot of you all mm -hmm. you know, some of you all sit and attack you all hard this week. Mm -hmm. You understand? You know, and it's not easy, man. You know, in, in this walk, it's not easy, man. Every day is something different that we got to deal with. You understand? Every day is, is something different. You understand? It's, it's always, it's Satan always after us, man. You know, Satan is always after us. You know, um, you know, you know, the scriptures say that um, Satan is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. You know, I want all you brothers and sisters out there to understand that. You know, Satan is out and he's out to destroy each and every last one of us. You understand? He's going to come for us. He's going to try to get us in and he's going to try to get you in, in whether it's your own personal things you're dealing with. It could be your, your family it, or or it could be some that going on in whatever congregation you're in. You know what I mean? Some problem that arise or it could even be your health. You know what I mean? But what I want you brothers and sisters to remember is that Job, remember what Job went through, man. Remember how Satan came for Job and all the things Job went through, Job never lost his, his um, integrity. You understand? Job never lost his integrity. He stayed faithful to the end. And in the end of all of that, the Most High God blessed Job. You know, so all you brothers and sisters that have been enduring in this truth, I've been going through your trials and you have been enduring and holding the faith. I, I big up to all of you all, man. So, Enough respect. Big up. <laughs> yeah. Big up to all of you brothers and sisters that have been enjoying, man. You know, so today the show we're going to touch on, we're going to, um, I got this, I had this on my mind all week, you know. Uh, I, will be, I will be touch on loyalty. Right. Loyalty. You understand? Loyalty. Being loyal. Loyal. Loyal to Christ first and foremost being loyal to the king and being loyal to your brothers right you understand last week we had touched on sisters being loyal to their husband to their husband That's you understand right. last week we had touched on that I hope Lord's will you sisters you all got some out of that you know Lord's will if you all see that any of the scriptures we brought out fit you fit any one of you sisters Hope you all just say, you know what, I got to work on that, I got to fix that. You know what I mean? When we bring things out, it's never to destroy you all or never to bash, bash our woman. It's just for them to see where they earn, not to see their faults and correct it. You know what I mean? Right. So, um, so this this been on my mind all week, man. Loyalty. Loyalty. You understand? Loyalty to Christ first and foremost and loyalty to your brothers. You know, because... Loyalty is a very serious thing, man. You know, I want you brothers and sisters out there, I want you all understand that loyalty is a very serious thing. You understand? Loyalty to Christ and loyalty to the brothers that you got around you. Because if you don't got loyalty, man, what else, what else, what else you got? You understand, man? Your, your loyalty is your word. You understand? It's your bond. You know how dudes used to be like, that's my word, man, or that's my bond. You know what I mean? Yo, loyalty is everything you got, man. You know what I mean? That's all you got, your loyalty. You know what I mean? Because once you lost, once you lose that loyalty, or you or once you lose that, it's it's no longer the same. It's hard to get it's it's hard to get back trust from that brother or that sister once once you um betray that loyalty, man. You understand? 
So that's what we're going to touch on today. You know, we're going we to have a lot of you brothers and sisters calling also. You know what I mean? I want to see where your mind is when it comes to loyalty. You understand? But I want you to um, read the definition of the word loyalty. I want you pull up loyalty and let's read the definition. Okay? Pull up loyalty and let's read the definition. the definition of loyalty the quality of being loyal to someone or something so it says the quality of being loyal to someone or something all right an example of that is her loyalty to her husband of 34 years okay read the synonyms uh synonyms or this other definition a strong feeling of support or allegiance so loyalty means support or allegiance allegiance all right okay read on and here's the synonyms allegiance faithfulness what faithfulness so part of being loyal is being faithful okay part of being loyal is faithfulness you know is you being faithful to that brother or that sister you understand is you being faithful in this walk being faithful to Christ that's part of being loyal you know I want that key word the key word I want out that day is faithfulness alright I'm going to touch on that I'm going to touch on that in, in a minute you know so go to keep on reading obedience adherence homage devotion so it says obedience Obedience. So being faithful is being 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 loyal is being obedient. Right. You understand? Obedient to what? Obedient to God's laws. You understand? That's being that's being loyal. And when it comes to sisters, um, we touched on this last week. Um, being loyal is being obedient to your husband. You understand? Read on. Obedient. Adherence, homage, devotion. A devotion. Read on. You devote yourself to something. Read on. Stead, uh, staunchness, true heartedness, steadfastness, dependability. Dependability. Reliability. Meaning you reliable. Read on. Trustworthiness. What? Trustworthiness. So is you trustworthy? All right. To be loyal is you trustworthy. Meaning somebody could come and tell you something. You understand me? Or or and 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 somebody could come and tell you something and and somebody be able to trust you to come and confide certain things in you without you going now and telling that person business to everybody. You understand? That's part of being loyal. You know, somebody being able to trust you to come to you and be like, "Yo, you know what, Bridget? You know, I, this this is what it is. Bam bam bam. I need help with this right here. Can you help me?" And you, you know, you say, okay, bro, I'm going to help you. Then you go on and you go and tell everybody what, whatever the brother just told you. Or a brother might be going through a little problems with his wife and so forth. And he might come to you and say, listen, man, I'm going through some problems with my wife. This is what it is. Bam, bam, bam. I need some help. No, this brother trusts you why he came and told you these things. You understand? But what you did, you go around and, 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 and talk the brother business to everybody. That's, that's, that's you not being loyal. You understand? That's you not being loyal. Keep on reading. Reliability, trustworthiness, duty, dedication, commitment, patriotism. All right. So you all see all the meaning at, at the word faithful. DJ Ls, play some slow in the background day. Hey, can I read it? It kind of uh, dead. It kind of kind of kind of dead dead zone in here right now. <laughs> Right, right, right. Let me let me read the, the antonym. So this is the opposite of loyalty. Treachery. So you see that? It says the 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 opposite for loyalty is treachery. You know, when you treacherous. You understand? Or so tre treasonous. Or treasonous. A traitor. It deri it derived from the word traitor, right? right? A traitor. You betray someone. You understand? So that's a that's a 
a ant- antonym. How you pronounce that word? Antonym. Yeah, a yeah. Antonym to to um being disloyal. Okay. So from there, I want to touch on faithfulness. Okay. Faithfulness. Go to um Nehemiah. Seven verse two. So brothers, you all got to be loyal to the brothers around you, man. You have to. You understand? You can't be faking this walk. You can't be faking this truth, man. You know, you got to keep it real. You got to keep it 100 with the brothers and them that's around you, man. The brothers and them you go to war with every day. Uh, the brothers you go to war with every Saturday. Right. You know what I mean? You got to keep it 100, man. You can't be fake. You can't be phony. You understand? I believe it or not, man. Yo, we got a lot of phony brothers amongst us, man. You know what I mean? But, yo, the purge coming, and I know the purge going. When I say the purge, you know what I mean? As I, every year we get a purge. You know, for those of you all that are tuning in, I'm going to explain what I'm saying. We got a lot of brothers and sisters amongst us that they not loyal to Christ. They not loyal to the brothers and sisters around them. You understand? And every year we get a purge where the brothers and split that it, brothers and sisters are spreading right they they leave you understand they leave and go back into the world or leave and go to some other camp or something right. you know what i mean so it's about that time of the year day of atonement the purge coming all right <laughs> you know so hey can, can i point out something real quick D? yeah uh, you know if somebody's as brothers and sisters um and then on levels of like congregational trials how you know if somebody is loyal to you as a brother or sister or not is if you go through anything and they can't if if whether you're in the wrong or they're in the wrong whichever person is wrong or right and they can't bring themselves to applying what the scriptures say with you instead of resorting to emotional uh, means holding grudges and 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 right. going to different routes and oh, you know what this person did to me and this person did, did right. that to me instead of applying the scripture with the person and confronting the person and dealing with the situation right. that person is not loyal to you that you know? person is not loyal that's right all right it's different it's different it's different signs where you could tell somebody's not loyal right, right. or somebody's not faithful right? because loyalty and faithfulness is the same thing right. you see I'm gonna give you all some different, different, um, different scenarios. Now, how you could tell somebody is not loyal is when they is not loyal or faithful is when they murmuring. You know the brothers and the sisters that's always murmuring, mm-hmm. that always got something to say or always they gossiping with somebody. Right. You understand me? This brother or this sister, guess what? You all are not loyal, you know. The brother and the sister that's always murmuring, always murmuring, man. They not loyal. These are signs to tell if a brother or a sister is loyal or not. All right. So also another sign that you could tell. This is from life experience. I'm talking about mm-hmm. because there's a lot of treacherous, disloyal brothers I had to deal with. You understand? When you see. And this is the main this is the main one a lot of brothers and sisters fall under. When you see brothers and sisters get corrected mm-hmm. and they become grievous, grievous unto them and they become hard and they can't see why they was corrected, usually that brother and that sister does become disloyal. Alright? Usually they become disloyal. You know, their loyalty is in a balance now. You understand why? Because they get corrected. You know, a lot of brothers and sisters amongst us, they got corrected, you know, and, and their loyalty just changed. You know, now all the good things you've done to that brother or that sister, now they, they it's all through the window. All the good right. stuff they did while it was in the truth, it's all through the window. All because of what? Because that person get corrected. So now that person is going to go out there and they're going to speak much evil are usually the person that correct them or the organization that, you know, right. in general that they was a part of. You understand? So that's one of the key reasons why brothers become disloyal. You understand? Is when they are corrected. You see? But let me touch on faithfulness and I'm going to jump back to and, and, and touch on some scriptures concerning that. All right? Go to um, 
I want to show you how how um our forefather and them rule. All right. First, go to Nehemiah seven and two. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter seven, verse two. That I gave my brother Hanani and Hananiah, the ruler of the palace, charge over Jerusalem. So these men, they was given charge over Jerusalem. His name was Hananiah. Read on. For he was a faithful man. For he was what? A faithful man. For he was a faithful man. What's another word for faithful? Loyal. That's right. You understand? Loyal. This brother right here, in the time of Nehemiah, this brother Hananiah, he was a loyal man, yo. He was a loyal brother, you know. And these is the type of brothers that we want amongst us. You know, these is the type of brothers we want to roll with. These is the brothers that you brothers want to roll with. You understand? You all don't want to roll with no fake, phony brothers. You understand? You want brothers that's going to keep it real. You want brothers that going to keep it 100. You know, you want brothers, if you're going off, the brother going to say, yo, bro, you going off. You understand? That's a real brother. That's a faithful brother. You understand? The brother see you going off, and he going to correct you. And if you are righteous, man, you going to take it. You understand? You know what, brother? You right, man. You know, you right. Because one thing, man, none of us in this in this truth is above correction. You understand? Even me. You know, I'm not above correction. Any one of these young young brothers here could correct me. I'm, and once once they write, I got to just, yeah, brother, you right. I got to just do that and fix it. You understand? Nobody's above correction. You know, but some brothers, they think because they've been in this, some brothers think they've been in this so long. They've been in this, yo, I've been in this 10 years. None of you brothers can't tell me nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Somebody's got that frame of mind. You see? But the men you want around you is loyal men. Men that is loyal to Christ first and foremost. Because if a brother is loyal to Christ, guess what? He's going to be loyal to you. He's going to be loyal to you. You understand what I'm saying? Because when a brother is loyal to Christ, guess what? He's going to be obedient to Christ's teaching. Because one of the key words for loyalty also is, is, is um, obedience. You understand? So you know that brother going to deal right with you. You know, but you see these brothers that disloyal, disgruntled, what's some other word? Treacherous. You know what I mean? Things got to happen, man. You see? But read that. Keep keep on. Read that again one more time. That I gave my brother Hanani and Hananiah, the ruler of the palace, charge over Jerusalem, for he was a faithful man. So Hananiah was a faithful man. Okay? From there, go to Proverbs 20 and 6. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 6. Most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness. Read that again. Most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness. So it says most men going to proclaim to everyone his own goodness. Meaning every brother going to always try to say, oh, they, yo, I did this, I did that. I'm so this, I'm this and that. Every man going to try to do that. You know what I mean? Want to wanna exalt themselves and so forth. Mm -hmm. You see? Read on. Most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness. Read on. But a faithful man. But a what? But a faithful man. Read on. Who can find? Who can find a faithful man? Who can find a loyal man? Because a loyal brother is a faithful brother. You understand? So who could find a faithful man? Because let me tell you all something, man. It's hard to find faithful brothers, man. You understand? It's hard. It's hard. You know what I mean? Like, you, like you're going to meet brothers, and in the beginning, brothers be good. You yep. know what I mean? Why they be good? Because they ain't going through nothing as yet. You know what I mean? Because sometimes sometime brothers be faithful until something happen. You understand? To try them. Until they go through a problem or until they go through a trial and then they true nature come out. You, they, all, un you all understand what I'm saying? That's not faith. You, that, no, that's but that, you. No, but listen. Please remember. There's yeah. three different type. It's four different type of Israelite. Right. There's the one that believe for what? For a time. For a time. You understand? Mm -hmm. And because of the care of the world, and the deceitfulness of riches, he's taken away. You know? So that's that brother right there. He was faithful in the beginning. 
You know, you was rolling with this brother. You was going to camp with this brother. Right, 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 you was at right. this brother crib. You all grilling. You all chilling. You all going over scriptures. You was billing with this brother. This brother done been to war with you and hold you down. Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden, something happened. Something happened. And this brother become offended now. You understand? And his loyalty, his loyalty start to one, how to say Dwindle. Yeah, his yeah, his yeah, his loyalty yes. start to waver now. So now this brother, he's not loyal no more. You understand? He's not faithful no more. Right. You understand? He say, I ain't messing with you, brothers, man. You know what I mean? Or oh, you're wrong. You're should you're wrong. You you should have never corrected me. You know, I, it never happened like that because the way how Satan work, when some when when somebody is wrong, sometimes when Satan is on you, it hard to see when you wrong you understand right because in in a lot of men eyes to themselves they think they right right you understand it's just the men from on the outside could see and it's like bro you wrong right. and everybody like bro you wrong you got to fix that bro you wrong but in this man mind in a lot of brothers that become this loyal mind a lot of time say and be playing with their mind they might get corrected and so forth and they thinking that they are right and everybody else is wrong. You know what I mean? So that's why some brothers, they become bitter and then they become disloyal. You understand? They become treacherous. Now they start going and spreading all your business to everybody. You understand me? Now they, now they gossiping and murmuring and so forth. You see? So, as I said, it's hard to find a faithful man, yo. You understand? It's hard to find a real, a real brother, a real brother to hold you down. You know, out of every, out of every, out of every twenty brothers, you might find one. Hey, D. You see? You know what I call brothers like that? The phase. You know, the the the, the um, they got the term phase. That you going through a phase. Yeah. When your family members say, "Oh, you just they just going through a phase." But yeah, Some yeah. brothers, it's true. Like when they come in the truth, um, when they, cause the, the 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 enthusiasm is there. They they uh want to be with the brothers and the the zeal. the zeal is there. But then. When the real trial come, when the, that fate's supposed to kick in for you to be able to sustain and, and go through whatever you gotta go, it's not there. The only thing that was there is, the, is just the zeal. You right, know? right, and right. And when when you, when you go through something that's real, like you supposed to um, overcome it, you right. can't because you never had any true right. faith or, or, or um, uh, 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 belief. You wasn't loyal to what? Well, yeah, to, there to, wasn't rooted. Right, there wasn't yeah. exactly. Yeah. It wasn't rooted. Brothers wasn't rooted. You understand right. me? A lot of, a lot of, uh, uh, um, usually a disloyal brother or um, a disloyal brother or a brother that do not have loyalty, usually that brother is not rooted. You understand? He's usually not rooted in this truth. You understand? That's why he become disloyal and not just that, he usually um, is unstable. You understand? You got that scripture about double-minded man? Get that and read it real quick. You know, he's usually unstable. You know, brothers, that's disloyal. Their life is usually unstable. You understand? Meaning what? I'm going to give some example. Meaning that brother might be he unstable, meaning he might not have a home of his own. That brother might be living in his mother's house or living in his aunt's house. That brother might not be able to, you know, he never holding down a job. He can't find a job. Right. Right. You understand? He can't find a job. You know, his life is always... No signs of stability. He's no stability in his life. And that is a sign that that brother's spirit isn't right. It's right. not stable. As I said, don't get me wrong. We all go through things in our lives. We all go through ups and downs. And we go through trials and tribulations sometimes. You know, we might get eviction notice. We might get... Things might happen where we gotta um we're going through financial problems. Right. But the key thing is that there after a while we find a, a stable balanced state. You understand? After that trial, you go through that trial, you be, then you become stable. Right. But but the brothers on them that's usually unstable, the brothers on them that usually disloyal, they're usually all unstable, man, in everything they do. Right. You understand? But read that right here. This is James chapter one, verse five. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, 
and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man. For it says what? A double-minded man. Read on. Is unstable. Is what? Is unstable. So usually when you are double-minded, meaning your mind is not really fully rooted in this truth. All right, you double-minded. You know, you like, in my mind, I'm thinking, you know what, this is the truth. And another part of your mind, like, you know what, I don't really, I don't think that scripture is right. right. I right. think that breakdown is wrong. Right. You know what I mean? What them, I, you know, so in your mind, is like a battle going on. You know, one part of your mind believe, and another part of your mind like, nah, I don't believe that. You understand? So in your mind, your mind is double, you're double-minded. You know what I mean? So usually a double-minded man, the scriptures say, is what? A double-minded man is unstable. You in, are unstable. Read on. In all his ways. In all your ways. You understand? And this is how you tell if a brother is loyal. You understand? A brother is faithful. You understand? If a brother is double-minded, if a brother is unstable in all his ways, meaning everything that brother do, he's unstable is unstable that's a sign that a brother or a sister is disloyal you understand that's a sign that that brother or that sister is disloyal so israel i'm giving you all the signs to tell if a brother or a sister is disloyal you understand the double-minded brother brothers that life is always the whole life is unstable no matter what you do mm -hmm. to try to help that brother to get his life stable mm -hmm. it's always unstable that mean that brother right there is a chance that he might not be loyal you understand it's a chance that he's not faithful you feel what i'm saying as i said first and foremost you got to be faithful to christ and then you got to be faithful to your brothers around you you understand let me get, um, I think it's Revelation 14. I'm going to show you something about faithfulness. I'm going to show you something about 144,000, man. Because me, I'm a, I'm a man, yo. I'm a, I'm a man, I'm a dude. I take loyalty very serious. You know what I mean? From the time you dis disrespect the program once with me, that's it, you know? Right. You know what I mean? That's it. From the time that disloyalty, I see that disloyalty in you once, that's it. You know what I mean? If the brother repent, I forgive him. Mm -hmm. But that trust is not there no more. You know what I mean? You got to work. Some people, there's a scripture that talk about that. You know, once that trust leaves, you, you, you ain't getting it back. You understand? Mm -hmm. When you when you betray somebody or do some, something treacherous to a brother, you know what I mean? It's hard to get that brother back to trust you the same way. That will never happen. Let me let you brothers and sisters know that one time. You know what I mean? People confide certain things in you and so forth. People trust you and then you go and you, you, you um. You turn your back and speak evil of that person and so forth. You turn your back on them after that person trusts you and so forth. It's going to be very hard for you to get back that person trust. You feel me? So you brothers and sisters, be mindful. Those are you all that might have that sign of that disloyal spirit in you. Be mindful. You understand? You know? So read that scripture. You want us? Revelation 14 verse 4. These are they which were not defiled with women. So it's talking about the 144,000. It says, these are they that are, were, were not, what? Defiled with women. That were not defiled with women. It literally means woman, but it's also talking, going into, um, it's going into to the doctrines and sin. It's going into sin. These are those that were not defiled with sin. All right, read on. For they are virgins. For they are virgins. Were they literal virgins? No. All he's talking about that they are pure. All right? The 144,000. Meaning they were not defiled with sins. Okay? Read on. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. And it says that they did what? These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. So it says that they followed the 144,000. They follow the lamb wherever he goeth. What does that mean? It means the 144,000, they were loyal to Christ. You understand? Meaning whatever Christ said, they did. 
The 144,000, man. Read on. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. So you all see, you all see the spirit that the 144,000 was rolling in. The 144,000, they were faithful men, yo. You understand? They were faithful men. You know, so from there, a scripture just popped to my head. I think it's Joshua. You know what I mean? Where Joshua told him, um, where Joshua became ruler over Israel. Let me find that scripture real quick. And what the men of them told Joshua. It's in Joshua. I think it's in the in the first in the first is in the first book, first chapter. Verse six. What I said, whatever. Be strong and of good courage. Right. So this right here I'm about to read is about Joshua. Okay. Why will you all understand? Joshua was a soldier, man. You understand? And all the brothers and them Joshua was rolling with was loyal, faithful brothers. And that's what you all going to see as you read this scripture right here. You understand? And I want you brothers and sisters to understand. This frame, the state of mind that you see these men have, that, that, that's, um, that's a wrong Joshua. You know, this is the frame of mind that we all supposed to have. You understand? Because... Let me tell you all something. You know, Joshua, when he came, when Moses died, guess who became the leader of the nation of Israel? Joshua. You understand? And when Joshua, and Joshua's job was to go and conquer the land of Canaan and set up the tribes and them in their lands and so forth. You know? So Joshua, in order for him to do that, Joshua had to have loyal men with him. Men that are not going to question him. You understand? Question men that then ain't going to be murmuring and so forth against him and so forth. You know, they did that with Moses and the Lord had to kill all of them. Mm -hmm. You understand? So this is a new generation with, with Joshua. All that wicked generation that was murmuring and so forth, the most High God killed all of them. You know what I mean? So let's see the state of mind of the men and them that, that Joshua had amongst him. Read. This is Joshua chapter 1 verse 6. Be strong and of a good courage for unto this people Shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them? Only be thou strong and very courageous. So he said, Therefore be strong and what? Very courageous. Read on. So this is the men talking to Yahshua. So they said, they Yahshua, just be strong and, and be courageous, man. You know, read on. That thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left. He says, don't turn to the right or to the left. Read on. That thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. Read on. This, is the, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then... Thou shalt ha make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. All right, so this right here, you know, the scripture says when we do what the Bible says, that's how we're going to get good success. But that's not the part that I wanted. The part that I wanted was, is, was, um, oh, said, I got you. all verse, right, you got it? Yeah. All right. Um, verse 10. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, saying, The who? The officers of the people saying. So Joshua commanded the officers of the people. So the same way how there was officers set up in, in when when Joshua and Moses set up officers and captains and so forth. It's the same way in RUIC we set up officers and captains and so forth. You see? Read on. Pass through the host and command the people saying, prepare you vittles for within three days ye shall pass over this Jordan to go in to possess the land which the Lord your God giveth you to possess it. And the Reubenites and the Gadites and the half of the tribe of Manasseh spake Joshua saying, Remember the word which Moses the servant of the Lord commanded you, saying, The Lord your God hath given you rest and hath given you this land. Your wives, your little ones, and your cattle shall remain in the land which Moses gave you on this side Jordan. But ye shall pass before your brethren armed and the mighty men of valor and help them. 
un until the Lord have given you your uh, brethren rest as he hath given you and then also and they also have possessed the land which the Lord your God giveth them then ye shall return unto the land of your possession and enjoy it which Moses the Lord's servant gave you on this side Jordan toward the sun rising what I want is verse 16 16 yeah and they answered Joshua saying so this is the state of the mind Remember who Joshua talking to. He talking to the leaders. He talking to the officers, the men and them under him. You understand? And remember what I said. These men and them was loyal to Joshua, man. Because Joshua was a real soldier. You understand? He was set up to conquer the land of Canaan and put our people in that land. Let's see. Let's see how these men mind was. All right. I'm going to show you, brothers, what's loyalty. All right. Read. And they answered Joshua saying, all that thou commandest us, we will do. So they said what? All that thou commandest us, we will do. Now, nah, we're going to question you. We will do. So they know, Joshua, why did they say this? Why did they say this? Because they they know that the Lord was dealing with, Yah, with Joshua. Right. You understand? They know Joshua wasn't an evil man. You see? So that's why they told Joshua, listen, whatever you tell us to do, we're going to do it. You understand? A lot of brothers don't got that spirit amongst us. Right. You know, a lot of brothers, you tell them to do some, is always some questioning, uh, right. but this, that, but yo, that's wrong, and always some questioning, man. You understand? We tell you all to do some, do it. You understand? Just do it, man. Read. And they answered Joshua saying, All that thou commandest <coughs> us, we will do. And whithersoever thou sendest us, we will go. And wherever you send us, we going to go. You understand? Read. According as we hearkened unto Moses is, in, we done? in all things. He said, they said, this, this is what the men and them said. This is loyal, faithful men. They said the same way how we listen to Moses in all things. We don't. So will we hearken unto thee. We going to listen to you, um, Joshua. We going to hold you down. Don't worry. Read. Only the Lord thy God be with thee, as he was with Moses. So I, we just want the Most High God to be with you, the same way he was with Moses. So these men understood that the Most High God was dealing with Joshua on a different level than them. You understand? And what these men did, they pledged their loyalty to Joshua. Right. You understand? Because they understood that the Most High God was dealing with Josh with Joshua. You understand? Read. Whosoever he be that doth rebel against thy commandment. What, he, what they said, let's, this is how real loyal men rule, yo. This is how real soldiers rule. You understand? This is the type of brothers you brothers want amongst you, man. You know, these are the type of brothers you want amongst you. Let's see the state of mind of these men, yo. Read that again. Whosoever he be. That doth rebel against thy commandment. So they say anybody rebel against you, Joshua. Read. And will not hearken unto thy words in all that thou commandest him. And they want to listen whatever you say. Read on. He shall be put to death. We going to kill them. You understand? These is loyal men right here Joshua had rolling with him. Joshua said, listen. J Joshua, J um, the men and them among, um, uh, that was around Joshua. They told Joshua, listen, Joshua, we wouldn't allow nobody to violate you, man. You understand? That's love right there for your leader. You understand what I'm saying? That's love right there for your leader. You know, and that's the kind of love that brothers, a lot of brothers don't have, man. That's the type of loyalty a lot of brothers don't have. You understand? These men say, listen, don't matter what. They tell him, yo, whoever violate, whoever speak against you, they tell they told Joshua, don't worry, we got you. We're going to deal with them. Mm -hmm. You understand? But let me tell you something about some brothers that we get amongst us, man. You know? The backbiter, the, the, the whisperer, the murmurer. You understand? The brothers that talk crap. And believe it or not, you got officers that entertain the crap too. That does, that's not loyal. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That going to sit down and listen to brothers talk evil of a leader. You understand me? And they just sit down and they, yeah, yeah. instead of they like, yo, bro, Benjamin, what you deal with? You know what I mean? You better don't speak. You think anybody could come and tell me any evil stuff about the bishop? 
You understand me? Fire. You think anybody could come and tell me any evil about leaders amongst us? Mm-hmm. I shutting that thing down straight. You understand? Yeah, that's how I stay. If don't matter if it's true, guess what? It's gonna come out that it's true. Right, right, right. You understand? But I'm not entertaining no evil against no leader, against my leader. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's how all brothers' mind gotta be. You know, the man that the, that you see the most I put the spirit on, you gotta support that man. You understand? You gotta be loyal to that man. You know, because just just in this walk doing dealing with this, it's not easy, man. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You think it's easy for the bishop? Yeah. All these people coming at him talking all these evil against him and so forth. You know what I mean? You think it's easy? You understand? And then then he turn around and his brothers that's right next to him, that's disloyal. Right. That's questioning him. You understand what I'm saying? And as, as I said, we ain't no men pleaser. If somebody doing something evil, we gonna deal with it. You understand me? Right. But the thing is that we know the Lord is dealing with the bishop on another level. We know the Lord is dealing with some brothers on another level. You understand? So we gonna support them. You feel right. what I'm saying? Ain't no questioning. Ain't no what if this that. You understand? That's that's why when you hear when you see brothers disrespect the bishop. Mm-hmm. You understand? When you see brothers because you had brothers that was amongst us that disrespect the bishop. You got brothers that was a uh, that's amongst us, even amongst us, disrespect the bishop. You understand what I'm saying? And we ain't having that, man. Right. You understand? We ain't having that. The real soldiers and then we ain't having that. You understand? The same state of mind that you see, the same state of mind that you see um Joshua men and them have, that's the state of mind that all you brothers in all these states gotta have, man. You understand? Any brother, anybody that disrespect any one of the bishops and them, you brothers got to be like, yo, listen, you got to be in that state of mind like like Joshua, man. Like, listen, we, we going to defend you, don't matter what. We know you are righteous, brother. You understand? We know what you're doing for the people. You understand? That's the same spirit you are got to get for Bishop Kanai, the same spirit you are got to get for Bishop Nathaniel. You understand? You cannot sit back and see nobody disrespect them, man. You understand? Just straight up like that. You know what I mean? And you brothers that do that, you are disloyal. If you sit on there and you hear a man disrespecting your leader and you listening to that thing, you you disloyal, man. You understand? You are disloyal. So that's loyalty we're reading about right here, man. Real loyalty. You see? Real loyalty because I be hearing some crap, man. I be hearing young men going up against bishops and trying to argue with the bishops. You understand me? Trying to tell the bishops they evil and they wrong and this and that. You understand me? And I'm like, yo, didn't the bishop, because me, listen. For those of you all that, that don't really know my history, you understand? I'm the bishop's first student, you know? And where he found me, he found me on the street. You understand? I was on the street wasting my life. They was out there teaching for for like two years before I even listened to them. You know, I even tell them, I even I even told the bishop, man, I ain't trying to hear the <laughs> when he tried teaching me. That's how rebellious beep, I was. Beep. Oh yeah, my bad. <laughs> my bad. No, but that's what I told him, you know what I mean? <laughs> but you know, but they was going into the scripture with me, and you know what I mean? And you know, he took me off of the street. You feel me? Right. By showing me the scriptures. And he taught me the scriptures. And how to apply the scriptures in my life. You understand? The same way how, how we teaching you brothers how mm-hmm. to apply the scriptures in your life. And you telling me I'm going to turn around and be disloyal to that man? Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Right. You, tell, you, 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 see, you see what I'm talking about? You know? Even the bishop. The bishop got elders. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The bishop elders was um, Arya and Marsha. You right now, I think the the area. I think he's the leader. Um, he's one of the leaders over there in, with Comfy and them. Right. One, one. But have you all ever heard? Even though the brother is going off in some different stuff, comf, um, teaching that the comforter is 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 that dude and so right. forth. Even though he's doing that, you ever hear the bishop speak evil of that man? You ever hear the bishop speak evil of any of his teachers? Never. You never hear that. You understand? And that right there is loyalty. Even if that man went off, he still never went and speak evil of that man. Because he still honor and respect that man because that man was his teacher. 
You understand? That man was his teacher. But what I'm saying, a lot of you brothers, you all ain't got no loyalty, man. You understand? From the time you all see anybody disrespect your leader, you got to you gotta distance yourself from that person, man. You're supposed to distance yourself from that person and you're supposed to burn some fire on that person. You understand? For real. <laughs> Straight up. You understand? Ain't no pain, no games. And, and like, sitting down and listening like, yeah, so the bishop did this to you. Oh, the bishop was wrong. No, that's wrong. No. You understand? If the bishop did something, probably your spirit ain't right. You had to right. check your behind. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? You probably had to check your behind. No, you mad and you and you you bitter and like, yeah, the bishop off, the bishop wrong and this and that. Man, listen, man. As I gotta tell you, brothers, this is the spirit you all got to roll in. The spirit of Joshua, man, yo. The man and them what that was rolling with Joshua. And that's real soldiers. You know what I mean? And I don't want no fake brothers around me, man. Right. You understand? And the bishop, you ain't want no fake brothers around him neither. You know, none of us want fake brothers amongst us. You understand me? For real. We, if none of us want that. So I'm telling you all how to, how to tell a fake brother. You understand? A fake brother is going to be murmuring all the damn time. Always talking crap behind your back. That's a fake brother. A fake brother is always unstable. His whole life is unstable. That's a fake brother. You understand? I'm giving you all the signs in there because I can peep fake brothers. When brothers come around me, I already... He ain't real. I can tell. You understand me? I know. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. Some brothers I catch a liking to and they fool me. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> some, some brothers get away with it. Some them, That's the brothers with the real good personality and they, they come in and they put in crazy work. I'm like, yo. But then when they go through their trials, I'm like, damn, this brother was fake. You know what I mean? He wasn't real. He wasn't a real soldier. You understand? But read that one more time, man. I want you all to see the state of mind a real soldiers, man. A real soldier, a real loyal brother, he going to always defend his leader, man. And always stand up for his leader. He ain't going to sit on and hear nobody talk crap about his leader. You understand? You think we going to sit back and hear anybody talk any? We going to defend Christ to the fullest. You understand? And we going to defend the bishops and them to the fullest because we know the bishops and them following after Christ. That's the state of mind that all you men got to have, man. For real. Read that scripture right there. Joshua chapter 1 verse 18. Whosoever he be that doth rebel against thy commandments. So all you rebellious brothers that want to talk crap, you understand? All you rebellious brothers amongst us, man, you all just, just go, man. All you murmurers, all you evil murmurers, backbiters, you know, you all just go, man. You understand what I'm saying? Deuces. Oh, they say the deuces. I do that, they might say that's the, you know what I mean? They say that's the um, horn, or oh, he doing the horn. Yo, you all just go. Go to another camp. Go back into Christianity. Whatever you all want to do, man. You understand? But we don't want traitorous brothers amongst us. We don't want disloyal brothers amongst us. You understand? We looking for these kind of brothers that Joshua was rolling with. Brothers that are going to be loyal to their leader. Hey, you know what? Let me let Israel call him, man. You know, I, I want to call find... Call a segment. Yo, call a segment. Israel, you're calling. Tell me what you all... What's your idea of loyalty, right? What's it? What, tell me what's your idea of loyalty. What you think is loyalty, man? You know what I mean? Have you been in this truth and a brother been disloyal to you? You call, understand? Call, call in, man. Call, call in, in, Israel. Call in and express your, your, your passion, your let loyalty. Me hear, yeah, let me hear... Truth. Yeah, let me hear what's your loyalty, where your loyalty stand, man. Call in Israel. You understand? Call in. You feel me? I meet a lot of brothers. One brother, I tell you, a brother said, Yo, I will die for this man. I'm going to die in this I'm going to die for you, brothers. You know what I mean? Them is the kind of talk I hear. You understand me? Right. But some brothers, they just talk them stuff. You know what I mean? You know, some people just <laughs> talk stuff. You know what I mean? The most I deal with action. You know what I mean? You can't tell me you're going to die for me and then you turn around and disrespecting me and them kind of thing. You understand? What happens is you get tried with that too. Yeah, man. The things that come out of you brother's mouth, you get tried with it. So that's... Because, yo, we deal with action. Man. The most I deal with action. You understand what I'm saying? Right. I don't listen to talk. Man run up the mouth and man talk. But when things happen, you see who the real soldiers is. You understand? When things happen, you see who the real soldiers is. You understand? When you hear, when people talking evil at a bishop or talking evil at leadership... The real soldiers and them are the ones and them that you see ready for the war that stand up and defending it. 
Them is the real soldiers. You understand? The brothers and them that you see sit on there and listening to that crap. You understand? And sending praises to brother like, yeah, man, just, go, just continue. Everything going to be okay and this and that. You brothers is fake and phony, man. And you all just need to leave. I just telling you all straight up, man. Because we don't care about numbers. It's not about numbers. We need just loyal men amongst us. Brothers that love the Lord. Brothers that love Christ. You understand? So Israel, you are calling. Calling right now. The number is 914-297-7488. You understand? So from there, let's touch on David Mighty Men a little. I'm going to touch on David Mighty Men. All right? Dun, 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 dun. A lot of you Judas brothers, man. Freaking Judas. Betray us. You know, first go to, go to, um, go to, um, number 16 and 1. Number 16 and 1. I want to show you all, there was always disloyal people amongst Israel, man. There was always disloyal people, man. Got a call. Oh, we got a call? All right. Shalom, shalom, Israel. Most high Christ blessed. Tune into the Raven and World Radio Show. Hello? Hello? Hello, shalom, most high Christ blessed. Shalom, most high Christ blessed. Where you calling from? Hey, Dika Malakaya, I feel your spirit so powerful. Oh, I already know who this friend. is, man. I already know who this is. <laughs> you know, this is this is um London, the France. This is France, yes. man. You know, this, this is, is France. France. What's up, brother? What's going on? More sign Christ. Bless. Deacon, heaven is up. IUIC, Israel is up. And I thank God so much for bringing out this subject because many of our people don't really know the time that we live in. This is the second exodus and the final exodus. Bishop Nathaniel, Bishop Kanai, just bring me into remembrance of Moses and Aaron. And anyone who speaks evil against the two or the deacons, they speak in evil against the Most High God and Christ himself. That's right. And, and I am 110% with you. Anyone who don't agree with what is being taught by the bishops should just pack up and go and die. Period. <laughs> Yo, brother, brother Francis, I sold you, man. Right. Brother Francis, I sold you. You understand? And guess what? Every, all the men amongst us should have that state of mind. But brother Francis, guess what? You know, a lot of brothers do not have the same state of mind that you have. You know what I mean? It's, it's a sad thing to say. I know. Many, many are called, called into this group. group. That few will be chosen. chosen. That's right. The chosen few are the ones who are being proved by the Most High God. God. Right. This, this is, is the proving section. This, this is proving time for those who are loyal to this gospel, right. to this greatest news of all time. We are the law of the world. Okay. All right, brother. We are the law of the world, and we must uphold our standard. Because the law is our immortality. Right. When we take the laws, Esau is dead. And they know very well. And those are our people who don't see the light in the prophet Esau. Oh, yes. They should know that after the death, there will be pain coming. And they should be very careful. They're going to die. You understand? Oh, huh? So, brother Frank, if we, if we don't get rid of this evil people, the greatest fear and, and the greatest enemy of Israel is, is our own people who look right. like us That's and right. working for the enemy. Yes, you know? Because so, all praises to the, the Most High God for bringing out this truth. And, and I'm with you, bro. Right. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Long live the bishop, Nathaniel, Kanai, the deacons, the captains, the officers, and the soldiers, and the entire brotherhood and sisterhood who are upholding the law. And everybody must be aware. No matter how many scriptures you know, at the end of all things, keeping the law is our salvation. That's right. All praises to you, Deacon. All, right. all praises. Most time Christ bless you all. all right. Shalom Christ again. Most time Christ bless. You know what I mean? So, yo, Brother Fence, you know, 
this brother right here is a soldier. You understand? He a soldier. You can hear the passion when he talk. You understand? He a real soldier. You know what I mean? For real. You know, and this is what I'm saying. A lot of you brothers, you all got to, that's the way you all got to think, man. You know, that's the way you, you got to program your mind. You know what I mean? You have to defend your leader to the fullest. You understand? You can't even defend your leader that the Lord gave you here on earth. You know what I mean? Then you're talking about fighting for Christ. Right. You understand? Because our ultimate leader is Christ, right? Right. You can't even deal right with the leader that the most I put over you here. For the thing you think you're trying to you think you're gonna be loyal to Christ? You understand what I'm saying? So read that scripture. So Israel, you're calling, all right? You all wanna what tell me what you all what you all think about loyalty? What's your idea of loyalty? You know what I mean? Shalom, shalom. Most high Christ blessed. Where you calling from, caller? Shalom, most high Christ blessed. This is Sister Hadessa from DC. Yeah. Sister Hadessa. Okay, shalom, sis. Most high Christ blessed. So you got a comment? Yeah, yeah I actually, actually called call because, because the sisters need, need to be aware, aware of this disloyalty too. too. Yes. And, and that's it's the, the behavior, behavior that is, is very common, common amongst us. Okay. And, and that, that we need to rid ourselves, ourselves of as well. Okay. Because, because how, how is it possible to not be loyal to your sisters and be loyal to your brothers or Christ? Well, it's impossible. Right. You sure? You right about that. You know what I mean? Sisters must be loyal to her sisters. You know, like some sisters, you tell them your business and they go disclose your business. That's a part of this loyalty. You understand? Not yeah. even that. You know, um, you know, but sisters, you're also supposed to be loyal to each other, man. You're supposed to love each other because if you ain't, if you sisters, you ain't loyal to your own sister, you're not gonna be loyal to your husband. Number two, you ain't gonna be loyal to the brothers amongst you. You understand? Hello. And you're not gonna, gonna be loyal, loyal to Christ, Christ either. either. Right, and that's the ultimate one who they're not loyal to, because the same mm -hmm. sisters. Because let me tell you something. Like I always hear a, a lot of little. Bull crap, woman, bull crap. Like women be getting problems with each other. Oh, she said this to me, or she did that, and and you know, instead of sisters deal with it according to the scriptures and just work it out and forget about it. You understand? Some sisters they hold on to it, and they, you know, and you know, like woman bull stuff, bull, bull stuff. You know, like you know, like a lot of times sisters get into a lot of bull crap. You know, and yeah, you know, they, right. So sisters got to fix that, man. You sisters that want the kingdom. You all got to stop the murmuring. You all got to stop the backbiting. And you all got to be loyal to each other, man. That's you understand? Right. And the you kingdom are... is greater. Exactly. The kingdom mission is much greater than exactly. that. Exactly. And be loyal. Be loyal to each other. If you ain't loyal to your sister, you ain't going to be loyal to Christ, man. You know what I mean? So, yes, sister, you making a valid point. You know what I mean? Sisters got to stop that murmuring and that fakeness that they be going on with amongst us too also. You know what I mean? It's not just the brothers. You got fake sisters amongst us too. You understand me? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So you just stay up and keep the commandments in the faith of Christ, all right? All right. Shalom. All right. All right. Shalom. Most high Christ, Christ bless. Keep, keep up the good work. work. I right, says shalom. Shalom. Most high Christ bless. You know? All right. Shalom. Shalom. Most high Christ bless. Where you calling from? Hey, shalom. Most high Christ bless. It's in the house. Yeah, uh, Sean, I'm Saint Louis. Uh, uh, Saint Louis in the house. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm talking about loyalty. You like what's uh, man? How you know loyalty? First, I would say, um, uh, Christ told Peter, Peter he said, uh, you're gonna, gonna deny me three, three times, Peter. Peter. So, so I, I, I think, think I would say, in order for you to be loyal to somebody else, you gotta know yourself. You gotta be loyal to yourself before you can be loyal to another flesh, which is your brother. Right, right. You right. You know, because Peter, loyalty was test. You know what I mean? But guess what? Peter repented of that quick. You know what I mean? That's right. You, you got me, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I heard it too. Yeah, he got to be tried. tried. Right. Peter, the most I tried Peter loyalty. You know what I mean? Peter denied Christ three times. But the thing about Peter, Peter repented of that. You know what I mean? Peter repented of that quick. And he went in hard after because when you read the scripture, Peter was the most powerful apostle out of all the twelve. Right. You know what I mean? That's why Christ said, told Peter, he said, when thou art become full strength, that's what he told him. Fully converted. He said, when thou art become fully converted, he said, strengthen the brethren. He said, Satan going to come for you mm -hmm. and test your loyalty. 
But once you're going to overcome it, I'm going to pray for you. But once you become fully converted, converted, strengthen your brothers, man. Right. You know what I mean? You know, so Peter was, even though he dwindled in the beginning and he became, you know, he didn't know him in, in himself. He never thought he would have. He would have denied Christ. He would have become unloyal. He would have that that thought would have popped in his head. But the key thing is that Peter, he wasn't like that. Go through that for years, and no, he catch himself quick like that, mm -hmm. and and correct it, and repented of it. You know what I mean? And that's what a lot of these brothers don't do. You know, these these disloyal brothers. You know what I mean? They don't correct themselves quick. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, they hold on, they hold on to it and they become a grudge and they become bitter and they take go, root. And they take root and, right. they, and they go back into the world and be evil. Right. You understand what I'm saying? They try to spread it first. Right, right, right. So, yeah, man, right. that's a good point. You must know yourself before you can be loyal to your brother. You know what I mean? So, right. thanks for the call, man. So, you loyal to Christ? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Zeke, I got, I got one, one more question before we get yeah. off. Um, well loyalty some brothers naturally have loyalty but i would loyalty is some that gotta be built up it built up by trust by you dealing with that person by you you know the scripture said how beautiful how beautiful it is when brothers come together in unity like yes. if i don't know you and i don't trust you because I don't know you. But in me being amongst you, when we come together, I might come right. out there in St. Louis, and in me being around you and getting to know you right. <clears throat> and building with you, we going over scriptures and I'm building with you and I'm getting to know you and I see you going through trials in this truth and I see you overcoming it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm able to trust you and I'll be like, yo, that's when you then, that's when I, I, I could say, okay, this is a loyal brother. You know what I mean? Because I see your works in the truth. And I see how you're rolling because I know you. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All, right. I agree. All right, man. All right, man. All right. All right, man. All right, shalom. So, shalom. Most sign Christ bless. All right. Bye. Shalom, shalom, Israel. Most sign Christ bless. You tune into the Raven and World Radio Show. Where you calling from? Hello? Hello? Okay, you had a, we had a you know bad connection there, you know. So as I said, man, loyalty. When you read right through the scriptures, you read about disloyal people, disloyal men that went against the leaders that always. <laughs> <laughs> All right, caller, caller, caller. You tune into the Raven and Wolves Radio Show. Where you calling from? Hey, bro, Saint Louis. Saint Louis in the house again. Okay, Shalom, brother. Well, you you got to come in. Yeah, 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 I just want to uh, back up on what brother was saying about Peter. You know, Peter was the first one to pull out the sword and chop off that Roman ear, too. Right. Uh, they come against, when they come against Christ. Right. Because you know what Peter was saying, right? Peter was standing Christ. I'm going to die for you, Christ. I'm going to die right. for you. Ain't nobody messing with you. You understand? That's how Peter was talking. You know, but when he came down to it, his loyalty was tested and he was found lacking. You understand? But, that took, but as I said, the key thing is that Peter recover himself quickly, which I don't see, which I don't see brothers amongst us do. You know what I mean? A lot of brothers, they don't recover themselves. You know what I mean? They be, when their loyalty is tested, they, they go right back into the, into the world or go back into the wickedness or go backwards. You understand what I'm saying? You know, they don't, they don't endure. You understand? Peter correct himself and he went even harder, you know? So that's the difference, you know? Yeah, man. So you loyal to the king? Yeah, yeah, you don't know, you don't know me. So you loyal, yeah, you, you loyal, you loyal to the bishops? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, time going to tell, Benjamin. Time going to tell, Time going to tell. Time going to tell. Going to tell. Time 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 going to tell. Right. It was dead, dead, man. Man. Right. Dead, dead, man. right. So time go and tell Bedrin. Just endure, keep the commandments. You understand what I'm saying? You know? And whatever come your way, just deal with it and do not become disloyal. You understand what I'm saying? That's right. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> so thanks it's for the call, man. Shalom. Most high Christ bless, yo. So yes, Israel. You understand? The topic today is disloyal fake brothers, man. 
disloyal fake brothers. And when I say brothers, I mean sisters too. Because I know you sisters got, yo, you, you know, you got fake sisters amongst us the same way. Mm -hmm. They come amongst us, phony as hell. You understand? And they end up going and, and, and um, you know, that means the same sisters get bitter, get corrected, get bitter, and, and going out there and make YouTube videos talking crap about us. You know what I mean? But when you was amongst us, we ain't said nothing to you. Indeed. You know what I mean? You know what some people might say? Um, well, I have such and such with this brother. Oh, crap. <laughs> shalom, shalom, it's your most high Christ bless. Hey, hey, shalom, shalom, shalom D. Shalom. This is Toby Aaron out of uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. I want to give you a shout out, man. Shout out to D from Yahoo South. Okay. Shout out to all our leadership in North Carolina. We're glad to have D down here with us. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, hey, hey, that's really what you're bringing out right now, D. Hey, we need that thing in Israel, you know, because you got brothers that are coming in. You know, they, 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 can, they, they can try brothers like that or go in on IUIC because they know we're covered by the scriptures. So they think they can do fake brothers, they, they, they slide and maneuver their way in because they know a few scriptures and want to play up with brothers. But what you were bringing out, you know brothers that are more heavy and, and, and more loyal in the street because I'm from the street. I understand where you're coming from, B. Yeah, man. You know, I, re I I had some loyal soldiers with me when I was in my wickedness. You understand? I had loyal right. brothers with me. Brothers, when is, if I got to go to war, them dudes right there with me. You know, don't get me wrong. When when I have to go to war, sometimes, you know, you got fake brothers around you. When things pop off, you don't see them no more. But the real soldiers, right. they're always there with you. You know what I mean? That's how you, you tell who the real, who your real friends are. You understand? That's who you. Right. That's how you tell who's gonna hold you down. Because when things happen, you see who is who. You understand? That's why right. I like when things happen in Israel. When little, when things happen in Israel, you know, then people reveal themselves. Then you see who is who. You understand? Then you see who. That's right. That that's that's when you see who loyal to Christ and who loyal to their leader. You understand what I'm saying? So the real, right. you know, as I said, I see a lot of fake, phony brothers amongst us that have no loyalty. You understand? No sense of loyalty, man. And that does just get me upset. You understand? That get me real tight, man. You know, because we, you know, we come into this truth and sometimes, you know, we like, yo, we in the truth now. Or the brothers, we got good brothers amongst us and so forth. But believe it or not, we got good brothers, but we also got fake phony brothers amongst us too, man. Right. You know, that's like when you, that's when you see brothers leave us and join, like, these brothers you see join, went and joined the, um... Apologetics doing videos and all type of thing against us. You know what I mean? Them is phony brothers, fake brothers, right. Judases. You understand me? And to tell you the truth, when them dudes was even amongst me, I could have tell they would have that spirit on them. You know what I mean? I see it. You understand? I, you know, I saw it on I saw that spirit. Brothers, brothers don't understand. You know, when you form a certain when you form a certain life, you could pick up on certain fakeness, man. You could pick up on fake phony brothers. You know, that's, that's right. right for real. But yeah, man. So you loyal to the king, right? That's, that's right. right. Hey, hey this, that's, that's heavy what you're bringing out. Hey, keep pushing, pushing the truth. Keep doing what you want. You know, I'm glad to be a monk with real leadership like, like this. Hey, hey, all praise to the Most High. Keep doing what you're doing. Hey, I'm loyal to this truth. All praise to the Most High. Keep keep doing 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 so first and foremost, you loyal to the King, which is Christ. You understand? That's right. Anybody that come and take anybody, as I said, right now we purging out all these fake brothers from amongst us, man. You understand? Anybody talk evil at like your leader over your camp? You understand? Deal with him. You understand? Anybody talk evil about the bishop? Deal with him. You understand me? We getting with our yes, all sir. the phony fake brothers from amongst us. There's a purge going on right now. And we want the real soldiers yes, out there to stand up, man. You understand? That's, That's right, right, man. So, yo, thanks for the call, brethren. Most high Christ bless. Hey, yo, big, up, big up, big up. Most high. Shut the law, most high Christ bless. All right, most high Christ bless. Welcome to the Israel United in Christ podcast with the real Jew. Join us each week as the prophets break down the basics, Bible mysteries, expose dangerous deceptions, and show you how to come back to your heritage and inherit the kingdom of heaven. Shalom, Israel, Messiah Christ. Bless. Listen, man, we got the new podcast is out. All we need you to do, review it, like it, and so subscribe. I cannot even say that thing. Y'all know what to do. Subscribe that thing, man, and get that thing pop up, all right? So we can get the view up in there. All right, Israel? Shalom. Israel United in Christ podcast.
sound odd For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it sounds wrong, man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.